Your chromosomes contain the blueprints for what you look like. When you look at this karyotype, can you identify the sister chromatids and the homologous chromosomes? Let's move through the cell cycle and see the difference between these. Think of interphase. Uh, the DNA is kind of like a plate of spaghetti. You have these different segments, you know, kind of how a plate of spaghetti is, right? You have all the different noodles, etc. And then during interphase, they make a copy of themselves. You have replication. Okay, so now these strands have replicated because you're getting ready to make a new cell, okay? And, and you know, also during interphase, the other organelles have made copies. A lot's going on there, but we're just focusing on the DNA. And now we're ready to move into prophase. So let's see what that looks like. So now during prophase, these strands that I had drawn before begin to condense around the protein histone, and they begin to make this X-looking thing. And you have the strands before they're connected with a centromere and these are called this whole thing is still called a chromosome and you have what are called sister chromatids okay sister chromatids i have a very bad habit of calling that chromatids but i think chromatids is what I hear most often, and that is poorly written. But this is a sister chromatid, and this is sister chromatid, and this is sister chromatid, and here. And what they are is they, for the most part, they're identical, okay? And they're attached with a centromere, and this whole thing is called a chromosome. Now, what you can do, you can create a, a karyotype, and what they do is they basically kind of freeze prophase, and then they start rearranging the chromosomes and stain them. And you get something that looks like this. And this would be chromosome 1 and 2. And you have two pairs of chromosomes. And they are similar but not exact. And this is from the female and this is from the male. And this is called, I'll write it in black, try to write it a little neater this time. Make sure I'm on this, a homologous a homologous chromosome okay and okay let me go over what that is you have two chromosomes and they've stained these during prophase and they know that they're similar all the uh, genes are in the same places one is from female one is from male a homologous chromosome now let's move on to what we get during metaphase. Remember, during metaphase, they basically, the chromosomes line up into the middle and they attach to a spindle fiber, okay? We'll get the spindle fiber, fiber moving out, okay? And they begin to separate, okay? And so this is moving in this direction and this will begin to move in this direction and the same all the way down, okay? So, now here's where it gets a little confusing. I'll draw this down here. When they separate, okay, you get this. I have them attached to the fiber, right? Looks like an arrow. Whoops, I'm not on. There we go. Looks like an arrow. This, okay, is now, remember, it's one half of this chromosome, but this is called a chromosome. So, in theory, we've gone from one chromosome to two chromosomes, but remember, we're creating two cells. And then this, and this, this is still a chromosome. This is a chromosome, okay? This is a chromosome, this is a chromosome, okay? So again, it is not duplicated, but we have these different chromosomes. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between a chromosome, a sister chromatid, and a homologous chromosome. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.